when it can't nobody hold it. On this channel, I'm gonna jump right to business right here. This is one we actually forgot to do, but I had to talk about it being as though I've been following this damn near half of my life since the early 2000s when this was beef was going on, man. And Ja Rule, now I remember the video that came out that showed Irv Gotti and Ja Rule and their entourage being denied entry at SOBs. Irv Gotti went on Power 99 and explained pretty much that the reality show that he was working with set it all up and everything well 50 cent always goes in he does his thing on instagram all day long he immediately started matter of fact that's how i actually seen the whole altercation first is when i seen 50 cent posting it and, and clowning him and giving his commentary um going at john ja earth guy there's nothing new he, he, he always does it but what everybody was talking about and a lot of people actually missed this and I'm going to read this and I'm going to talk about it, man. And um, Ja Rule posted this first and foremost. You see right there, he posted the rat right there. But when you scroll right past that, you'll see. And everybody's saying that this is allegedly proof, proof that 50 Cent snitched. Now, you see it right there on the screen. And, I, of course, um, we're going to names are going to be redacted out of there. I don't want people to, um, you know, anybody's name, but we can see. Ja Rule's putting this up as proof and it says report of investigation. Um, so he says on or about October the 9th, 2009, SA received an anonymous call from a cell phone number and they have it redacted there on the screen. The number, the caller stated that we should investigate Jimmy Henchman in regards to the homicide. You remember Lodi Mac, Jimmy Henchman. If you don't remember that story, go on YouTube. There's plenty of videos about all of that. Now he says, after further investigation, it was discovered that the phone used to place the, anon the anonymous tip was they're saying 50 cent. Allegedly, this is according to Ja Rule. Our website out hiphopun.com and you can see um, the whole thing and read it for yourself. So Ja Rule posts this up in front of the world and he asks the people, he writes a caption right under, he says, Curtis, is that you? Out of all the people you know what it feels like to get your ass whooped by me, nigga, LOL. Scared for your life, ass. I don't keep saying it, but you know, you get it. Oh, I know this paperwork is fake too, laughing my ass off. I challenge any blog, any news outlet, see if those officers on this paperwork exist. Find them, interview them, 50 and P. And you can see right there what else he wrote. Now that he's calling us out. Now, to... He said, I challenge any blog or any news outlet, see if those officers on this paperwork exist, find them, and interview them. Now, I'm not personally going to take, you know, I'm not doing that shit at the end of the day, but I maybe somebody out there who's courageous, I really don't want no, you know, contact and really be dealing with police officers like that, especially the NYC police officers, but that's a whole nother topic, a whole nother podcast right there, but I mean, these dudes have been going back and forth now. Again, that's why Ja Rule had to put it out there and say, I know this paperwork is fake, too, because that's been the whole thing. People are saying, no, there's no way this is real. This is fake. This was doctored up. I don't, I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know about this. I know what was funny was the fact that I think when we talked about this maybe a couple months ago or even sooner, when the FBI actually put out a statement and pretty much all but clear 50 cents name said that look he never you know uh, uh, uh gave up any information because that was like the common theme that murder inc was running with and they still run with to this day especially irv especially ja they continue to say that 50 cent is a rat he's a snitch he he, he runs around police protection but this is pretty deep this is pretty deep and again this is alleged but ja rule posted what he is saying is undisputable proof, undisputable proof that 50 Cent called the police, called the police and told them that they should investigate Jimmy Henchman in regards to the homicide of Lodi Mack. This is what this paperwork says. Essentially, this is what Ja Rule's putting out there. So, I mean, the, the blood is bad between 
these two or goes to this level and um i don't know i i, I definitely do not know about this situation um i one thing i do know is that i came up when these guys were just coming into the game and i can remember this this beef and these two brothers going back and forth like the back of my damn hand and it, it just wasn't pretty but for all these years a decade plus later for them still to be going out them still dropping paperwork and stuff alleged paperwork on each other calling each other rats and this that and the third and to see it come out you know but again people have always defended 50 cent i read a lot of the comments when it comes to 50 cent and people calling him a rat or a snitch and you know people don't believe it people defend them and they just they're not going with it and not running with it but um you know let me know what y'all think i want to know what the people think about this because at the end of the day we don't know it all but you have some people out there who may be more privy to the situation and they always drop little hints and drop little comments and stuff and say nah this ain't true because of this and you just read it and you take it for what you take it for and just kind of form your own opinion off of that but i thought that was crazy i don't know how we missed talking about this story yesterday i guess it's because throughout the year you could see 50 Cent and Ja Rule headlines like at least 30 to 40 times throughout the year. And a lot of times it's, you know, a lot of frivolous bullshit. But in this case, in this instance, it looks like Ja Rule tried to put 50 Cent on blast and pretty much said, look, 50, here's paperwork that 50 told the police they need to investigate Jimmy Hensman for loading Max murder. This is what the dude said. So take it how you want to take it. If you believe it, I don't know whatever you know what i'm saying but this your boy oh god hip-hop uncensored you already know how we do i appreciate each and every person you know what i mean if you're looking for the full podcast we always get a lot of people asking for that it's right down in the description box shout out to the digital soapbox network man and also um if you can if you got time please download the radio.com app download the radio dot com app and you can listen to a lot of other great podcasts but we're exclusively on the digital soapbox next network on on the radio.com app real dope app and everything and i implore you to definitely do that you know um if you like to listen to podcasts and whatnot um because it's the new wave it's the new wave and we definitely love what we do we'll be back in the studio this week grinding and getting it in and whatnot but what that being said let me see what else is popping off today that i missed what not let me see what else is popping off i was listening to i was swimming earlier and i was listening to Nas's um new album i ain't hear a lot of it it's okay so far i mean i'm gonna give it some time to kind of really digest it and um you know go from there i see blue face trial um the g easy okay so it's not much we're gonna get it in though man just wanted to talk about this you know, um, real quick, Ja Rule post, yeah, yeah, see, that was a big story, but yeah, man, TK, I know, was found guilty of murder, faces anywhere from five to 99 years in prison. But with that being said, man, it's your boy, oh, guy, hip hop uncensored, ain't getting it in over here. We appreciate each and every person that listens to what we do, and with that being said, man, I'm out. Peace.